Now, a new survey shows that a majority of New York City residents are living in fear. The news comes as we learn yet about yet another unprovoked crime. This one on the subway in Washington Heights. And that's where we find Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti, who has the latest. Uh, Briella, you were reporting on crime yesterday. You're doing it again today. Good morning. Good morning to you there, Robert. And some food for thought here. Crimes in the transit system rose 62% this January compared to the same time in January of 2021. And today, a woman stabbed on a one train here in Washington Heights is lucky to be alive. New York City has seen a startling uptick in violent crime this year. Overnight, a 19-year-old woman was stabbed in the left forearm on a northbound one train in Washington Heights. And just hours before that incident, the NYPD says a man attempted to rape a 21-year-old woman inside a northbound E-train approaching the Canal Street station in Tribeca. Many people believe the Big Apple is heading in the wrong direction. According to a new Quinnipiac poll released yesterday, nearly three quarters of New York City voters consider crime to be a very serious problem. The highest percentage recorded since polling began back in 1999. Breaking down the numbers, 65% of voters say they personally worry about becoming the victim of a crime, while 43% of voters believe New York is less safe than other big cities. We cannot function as a city unless New York is are safe and feel safe. Mayor Eric Adams testified before the state legislature yesterday with a major focus on criminal justice reforms. Making his first appearance before the legislature as mayor, Adams argued that the city needs to get a better grip on public safety in order to return to normalcy. He also promised to release a more detailed plan when it comes to addressing street homelessness and subway crime. We cannot afford to let this go unaddressed any longer. Adams said he wants to see major changes to the state's bail reform law by allowing judges to determine if a person is too dangerous to remain on the streets. But his plan faces resistance from some lawmakers. In 2019, 95% of all people were not rearrested on violent felony offenses. And since bail reform, that number rose to 97% of the people who were released were not rearrested on violent felony charges. And despite the sharp uptick in crime, the MTA's weekday ridership hit 3 million for the first time since the start of the Omicron-fueled coronavirus surge. For now, this very latest live in Washington Heights, Briella Tomasetti. Good day, New York. Robert, we'll send it back inside to you. Briella, thank you.